Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie Mattia here for another episode of the Table of Discussions. Now, during this episode, I got the opportunity to leave the table and go out into the Loveland Learning Garden, which is located behind Loveland Primary School. I was so gracious to get a tour of the Loveland Learning Garden by Lori Flanagan, the board president of the Loveland Learning Garden, and her two Ohio State certified master gardeners, Lori Breger and Jill Simmons. Now, it was an unbelievable experience seeing how kids could be immersed into a garden setting and really learn how to fend for themselves if need be. Now, if you don't know what the Loveland Learning Garden is, you're about to find out. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. So, the Loveland Learning Garden serves so many Loveland students. I, I love it. So you, you serve first through fourth grade students. And I think you told me, was it 36 teachers participated this spring? So let's talk about how the Loveland Garden education program works and how teachers and students can get involved. I know you gave me a list of things that you guys did this year, the outdoor adventures, which, which is our is, after school program, which is unreal so let's kind of start with that talk about that okay so we have a lot of volunteer hours that are put forth maintaining this garden if right. you can think about your own backyard garden how much effort is involved and our nature trail which is about three quarter mile in length so we started thinking our flagship program has always been school day program which we've done um improvements every season and working collaboratively with the great Loveland primary and elementary school teachers. We're so blessed to have them. So we're here to help supplement what they're doing in the classroom and aligning our programming to their curriculum. Right, so right. that is flagship. But we started um, spring 22 with our outdoor adventures after school program, which is an enrichment program run through the LEPTA. But we, this summer, we were like, we can do more. We want to reach oh, as yeah. many kids as we possibly oh, can. Yeah. So we also did this summer for the very first time a series of summer events. We had kids exploring nature on Tuesdays. We had family harvest Thursdays. We had Hamilton County came in and did a session on composting. Oh, um, and we also did uh, partnered with the Loveland Library to run story time in the garden. We have scout troops that come and we host meetings. And we even go out into the community to the Loveland Farmers Market hosting an education booth. So our goals as a board is to reach as many kids as we possibly can. There's approximately 1,200 to 1,300 first through fourth graders that we're connecting with that through, many? through the school oh day program. Oh my gosh, wow. I, I think it's 20, 22 uh, primary school teachers and 14 social studies science teachers that are currently didn't you say that was all of them all 14 that's 14 social studies science teachers for the elementary school got their classes out at that's least incredible. once and the same with the primary teachers this year which is it's just indicative of we're doing a better job aligning to their needs right. and the curriculum um, and partnering with them to get input each right. each season to say hey does this work when can you bring your kids out you know what slots or time slots work and then our great nature educators are have flexibility right to then be present here in the garden the kids trot out and we take over for approximately 40 minutes on a wide variety of topics well i hope all of you enjoyed that wonderful experience in the loveland learning garden and i really hope you all take a chance to either volunteer or just call up Lori and take a tour of the garden itself. She also accepts donations as well. Well, until next time, everybody, this is Cassie Mattia on the Table of Discussions. See you next time.